Welcome back to video number 21. I hope you guys are having a good time learning how to build a content management system. Okay guys, so in the last video we created a table called pages. Well, we added information to that table called pages. And now we need to put this data underneath our table called information because we're creating a, a, a relational database. So let's go ahead and open up our content.php file. And you see here in the fourth step of our database, I don't really want to show the position because I don't want to have our pages, you know, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. And you could use a number here or you could just go ahead and type what field you created. And I'm just going to go ahead and type menu to make it less confusing. So let's go ahead and save this and reload it. Nope. What happened here? I gotta concatenate the break tag. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so you see here the one, two, three didn't show up anymore. Okay, perfect. So what do I wanna do? I think I wanna go ahead and. Okay, let's go ahead and create an unordered list. So I'm gonna go ahead and where am I gonna put this? Under our div ID of nav. This is our table. Okay. And we can just go ahead. We might need to create some CSS for this because it might show up with bullets, and I don't want that. So I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and give it a class, and we'll just go ahead and call this info. So we might be breaking out our style sheet. And then let me go ahead and close this out. Where is TD table cell? Okay. Save this, reload it. Okay. So the CSS changed a little bit. Let me go ahead and open up our CSS and let's go ahead and create. So we'll go ahead and call this, I don't know. Uh oh, what do we do? We call this. We call it info, I think, and we'll just get it. Give it a padding, zero pixels, and list style. I don't want anything to show up. I don't want numbers. I don't want bullets. So let's go ahead and type in none. Let's go ahead and save it. Reload it. Okay. So we could have probably done without that, but again, better safe than sorry. So now what I want to go ahead and do, okay, so I need to, okay, now let's go ahead and utilize these li tags for this unordered list that we just created. So on our fourth step right here, we're going to change up our code structure a little bit to create an inline substitution. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm just going to backspace all of this. And let's go ahead and give it our list order, list item tags. Close that out. And instead of using concatenation, I'm just going to use inline substitution. So let's go ahead and give it our variable of row. And let's index what we want. And we want to pull in just our menu, not our position. And let's go ahead and close that out. Let's go ahead and close. Nope. Close out our list items. I'll go ahead and comment right here what we did. So instead of concatenating, we're just using inline substitution with these um, what is this? These braces that we're using right here. So let's go ahead and save this, and reload it. No, we didn't want the bullets. Okay, let's go back to our. I'm gonna pause this and go back to my CSS page. All right, guys, welcome back. I found out where I made my error. And down here for the UL, for the class that we gave it, I had a space in there. So that's why I was not reading it. And again, for our nav, I created a width of 200 pixels. So all of our table of informations are on one line. And OK, so where were we? What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to consolidate our PHP tags. So I'm going to delete that opening tag and I'm going to delete that closing tag. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 
We want to take all this information and with this loop right here, because this worked to fetch our information, I'm going to go ahead and use this and loop through our pages. So I'm going to go ahead and steal these two steps of connecting to our database. I'm going to go ahead and paste it right down here. And so now instead of looping through information, I want to go ahead and loop through our table that we created called pages. I'm going to go ahead and save that, see how this looks for the time being. Okay. Okay, so our query worked. It pulled the inf information for our, our database, but it just put it below what we had here. Well, we want to integrate that through our relational database that we're trying to connect. But before we do that, let's go ahead and give our let's create some more unordered list tags for our pages. So let's go to our content.php page. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete these comments right here to make it less confusing now. So I'm gonna take out the comment that I had for three as well as four. And I'm gonna Consolidate these a little bit better. Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. And got our inline substitution. So underneath our second variable of result, let's go ahead and echo a unordered list that we have not even created yet. So let's go ahead and call this UL class um, just call it pages and let's close it out. But since we have double quotations inside double quotations we need to we need to escape this by using backslashes. So I'm going to go ahead and for our browser to render this properly, we need to go ahead and put a backslash there as well as a backslash there. So again, we got to go back to our CSS. And what did we call this? We called this pages. So let's go ahead and create a class for it, pages, and give it a list style. You can do list style or list style type. I'll go ahead and just keep it a list style. Okay. So let's close out our style.css page. And let's go ahead and close out our unordered list tag that we just created. So let's go ahead and echo and I think we might need another bracket down here. So let's go ahead and look at this. And we've got an error, so let me pause the video. Okay, so I found another problem. I didn't have a forward slash right here, and I have a quotation inside my UL tag. It's 3 in the morning. I'm trying to keep it together. It's going to be tough. And let's go ahead and get rid of this um, closing brace that we had there. So let's go ahead and save this and reopen it. Okay, it's coming together a little bit better. Okay, so now what I want to do is since we are creating a relationship between our tables of information and pages, we need to create some MySQL and use our information under our field that we created, information underscore ID that we created a couple videos ago. So where is our MySQL? Okay, right here. Okay, well we're gonna need to add another command of where and let's go ahead and we called it information underscore ID. So we need to use, we'll equal this to, let's create curly braces and pull in our variable. We called it row. And let's go ahead, 
call for the ID. We just need one quotation, not two. Okay, so this should work. No nope, parentheses there. Let me look at this. Okay. So we're using these braces right here in place of a string substitution. Let's go ahead and save this. And hopefully now this integrates. Nope. Pause the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this code. What did I do wrong right here? I needed to put my ending curly brace outside of the bracket right there. So let's go ahead and give it the ending curly brace there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at our third and fourth steps. Okay, so we're asking, yada yada, looks good so far. While, no, I want to include all of this. So I'm gonna backspace this opening curly brace and put it down here at the end. So this runs through our list item of row and then substitution. We're gonna pull information from the query up there. Created the CSS. Let's go ahead and look at it. Reload. Okay, perfect. This is exactly what we want. Okay, so we have this is Village Park. We've got about Village Park. I'm gonna add some more CSS, but I'll do that in the next video because this video is dragging on way too long. And uh, we've got our mission statement right here. Okay, so for our first information, for our first table, okay, just if you guys made it this far, you guys are awesome. I'm falling asleep at the wheel right now. Let me go ahead and end this video right now. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and we'll go ahead and create some more CSS to make this look a lot better in the next video.